Hi, my name is Tony Rusinho, and in this video, you'll learn how to have perfect marching band posture and some basic marching band fundamentals. Let's talk about proper head placement. We want to have our chins nice and tall to exude confidence and pride. But we don't want to stretch from the neck or the chin. Instead, we want to imagine a string pulling us from the top of our head so that our spine naturally elongates. This should allow our chins to have a nice, confident lift. Lastly, we want to make sure that our eyes are looking just over the horizon. Next, let's discuss what to do with the chest. When striving for perfect chest position in marching band, it's not so much about thinking about what the chest should be doing, but the components around it. The core should be engaged and supported, and the shoulders, which we'll go into detail next, should be down and relaxed. If you're doing these two things, the chest should be perfectly in the center, nice, proud, and not sticking out too far. Next, let's discuss what to do with the shoulders. To have perfect shoulder position in marching band, I like to take the combination of two exaggerated positions. The first exaggerated position is a soldier with the shoulders back and chest forward. The next exaggerated position is a senior citizen hunched over, cane out. Now go back to that soldier and stay here, but then bring the shoulders down to a senior citizen shoulder position. This should have your spine nice and elongated, chest proud, and shoulders down and relaxed. We don't want to have any tension in the body when we're out of tension and when we're playing music. Next, let's discuss what to do with the arms. When standing out of tension, your arms should be long with a natural curve at the elbow, but there should be no movement between the joints. Your hands should be like you're giving somebody a dollar. Finally, take that one component from shoulder to fingers and connect it to the seam of your pants. You want to imagine there's a magnet in your palm of your hand and in your pocket. Next, let's discuss what to do with the waist. You want to imagine your waist as a cereal bowl full of milk. If your stomach is too far forward and your waist is tilted, that milk is going to spill out the front. If you're hunched over, that milk is going to spill out the back. The best way to find the middle ground, put your hand on your hips and make sure that your stomach is tucked in and that your waist is flat to the ground. Next, let's discuss what to do with the legs. When standing at attention, you want your legs to be as long as possible, but without locking your knees. If you lock your knees, you could cut the blood flow to your brain and you could pass out. Likewise, you want to make sure that your legs are connected and touching together. There shouldn't be any space between. Now that you've mastered marching band posture, let's discuss some basic marching band fundamentals. Firstly, weight distribution. When standing at attention, we want to have 60% of our weight in our platforms, which is the front half of our feet, and 40% of our weight in our heels and the back half of our feet. The best way to find this balance is to lean too far forward, then to lean too far back, and then find that 50-50 middle ground. Once you're there, go ahead and push a little bit forward so you have the advantage in your platforms. Now you're ready to take that first step with accuracy and confidence. When standing at attention, it's important that our heels are together and our toes are apart at a 45 degree angle. The best way to find this 45 degree angle is to make your feet go to an easy capital L shape. Then go ahead and find the halfway point and that's gonna be from 90 degrees to a 45. It's important that the line in the center of your two feet is facing directly center. It's important to note that some marching bands stand at attention with their feet parallel instead of at 45 degree angle. If this is your band, it's important that your feet are touching and that there are no gaps in between. Even the slightest gap in the middle can be distracting. Finally, in marching band, it's important that you march in time. The best way to do this is to listen to the music and make sure that you're bringing your feet down with the downbeats 
and crossing them with the upbeats. Thank you for watching. We at the USA hope you enjoyed and look forward to seeing you next time. Want to learn more? The USA Drum Major and Band Leadership Programs offers students the opportunity to refine basic skills, test and practice advanced material, and create memories that will last with you for a lifetime. To register, follow the link at www.varsity.com forward slash USA. And thank you for watching this USA introductory course video.